Hi, welcome back to Danielle and Summer Show. So today, I wanted to let you guys know, um, I opened up an Etsy shop um, just a couple days ago, trying to sell resin jewelry and then digital printables. And I had an idea of showing somebody if they're having a hard time doing variations. Let's say you have a resin business and you want to sell, um, and you want to sell uh, resin letter keychains. Um, and how to do all the different letters and variations on your listing. Uh, I had a hard time with that at first, so I thought maybe someone else would be the same as me. So I wanted to show you what I did to figure it out. So you go to the Etsy website, and then you go to the profile that you created. So you go to, or wait, you go to store. You go to store here. You go to listings. Then you're going to go to add a listing. Now you're going to need to have your picture ready on your laptop. Or if you're doing this on your phone, it's easier because you usually will have all your pictures on your phone. But okay, so you'll go to the picture that you want. So let's say, let's pretend that this is all the letters for all your les resin letter keychains. Pretend that's like all the letters there. Okay. So pretend you put all the pictures on there. You scroll down. After you put in all this information, the title, who made it, what is it, when did you make it, categories, then a description. Keep going down. You'll do your price, your quantities. Now you'll get to variations. Click on add variation. Oh, I gotta select category first. Okay, category. We'll say resin letter keychains. There we go. Okay. So then we'll go back down. Like add variations. Okay, so. I'll do create a new variation, which is on the bottom. And all you put is each letter, pretty much. And you're just going to keep... Oh, it'll send you here and then just redo it again. I think that was supposed to be the name of what it was or what kind of variation it was. So you just keep adding it till you do all the letters or all the letters that you have. Okay? And that's how you get all the letters on your listing when they're... When, it, when your customers want to choose which letter they want. Um, you can put click this if you want to do how much you have, how much each item is, if it's different. This is, I'm not really sure what this is, but I don't think the customers can see any of that. It's just for the owner. Um, you can add a variant type if you want, but it's not relevant to this. So then you'll save and continue. Okay, now it will show you how you set it up. So this, this is all your letters. And then you'll put how much you want to charge for each letter, how much you have in stock right now. Um, another thing I learned is, because I wanted to learn how do you say a certain letter is sold out, um, you can go to your letter and just put zero, and they will say it's sold out. Okay. Um, Okay, and that's pretty much it. And then when you're ready to publish your listing, you click this, finish publishing it, and then you got all the letters on there, how much they cost, how much stock you have. If some are sold out, you can that you've set it on there already by doing this. So hopefully this helps somebody because I had to learn this on my own and it took me hours. I had to watch videos. There were no um I had to look at a lot of different videos, but I'm doing all these in one. So hopefully this will help somebody else. Um, all right, let's go. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of advertising if you're interested. My, um, store is called Danny's Art World Without Spaces. So we'll go there. It's Danny's Art World. No spaces at all. Just trying to do some advertising. I just opened my shop a couple days ago, so... This is what it looks like. 
Um, I do resin, but I also do printables and whatever else I'd like to do. Um, but this is the name of it here. And these are the products that I sell. I do earrings, jewelry sets, letters. This is my first digital print. This, those are really cool because you don't have to worry about shipping. Once you buy it, you get it immediately. You download it onto your computer and print it. That's it. I would recommend photo paper though, so it looks be looks better. But yeah, like this is the one where I have all the letters. Let me see if I click on it, if I can show you. So when you it says style, this is where I showed you how you do all the different letters. So then they can choose what they want, and then they add to their cart, and they can add another one if they want to. Um, and it's nice if you can link, um, link the picture with the letter that you chose, just like how it showed here. Um, just so they, I don't know, they can look at the picture better. And if it's like other items, they can make sure that it is what the image reconfirms that that's what they wanted. But that's what they were, you know. All right, anyways, um, hopefully that those tips helped you. Um, I will be sending another video of how I actually do uh, my resin keychains. Um, I have another batch that I'm planning to do um, in a couple days. I was going to do it with a resin called Pabio GD Bio Resin. It doesn't have no vox, which means it does have fume, so it is can be toxic. So... I have to wear my respirator and it has to be outside the whole time just to be safe. So I have to wait till the temperature is at least 70 degrees. Um, I usually do art resin, which you can do indoors. They say you don't have to do a respirator, but I still use one. Um, so when I do like my more art resin and I buy more of that, I will send more videos of how I do my stuff so you guys can learn from me and I can help others. Also, so I can advertise my business. I ain't gonna lie. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it's a win-win for everyone, hopefully. All right, well, you have a good day, and uh, hopefully this video helps somebody. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Bye!